Of course there are shortcuts when it comes to fitness. Anything that makes it easier to perform the necessary work will enable you to get better results in less time. Today's topic is four basic laws of how your muscles operate. And it's good to learn these things because when you learn these uh, four laws, working and training your muscles gets a hell of a lot simpler and a lot of the garbage nonsensical fluff out there kind of you know you don't have to deal with it so let's jump in rule number one muscles they only pull okay the the structure of your muscles muscles can't push they can only pull so the way it works is you have the the sliding filaments you act in myosin and when you contract they kind of slide over each other and they Pull. So basically you have muscle and it's attached to two different points and when it contracts they pull the two points closer together. Okay, so if I'm uh, you know doing a pushing motion with my hand, I'm doing it because my tricep is pulling, okay, or my bicep is pulling. So there's not really the ability for a muscle to forcefully elongate. It, it just relaxes and it pulls and then it relaxes and it pulls. So muscles only pull. That's all they can do. Skeletal muscles now. Number two is they need something to pull against in order for there to be resistance. So if you've ever like, imagine like uh, uh, take a, uh, like a rope. You have the rope attached to something uh, that's easy to move. Like, you know, say like, a, I don't know, a, a cardboard box or something. And you're like, okay, here we go. And you pull on that rope, like that rope has got some, ten some tension to it, aka that rope is like your muscles, and the, and the box just says, okay, and I come. There's not going to be any workload on that muscle. There's not really any tension to it. So you can try and pull as much as you like, but there's no give. It's nothing for it to pull against. Now if you take that box and you fill it up with, you know, lots of rocks and everything like that, and it's really hard to pull, now there's tension. Now, the reason why I mention this is it's not about weight or anything that I'm trying to give you. It's that a lot of times when you contract a muscle, other muscles have to give it a solid base. And this is especially the case in body weight training. If you want your chest to really work with push-ups, tense your back. If you want your biceps to really work, use your triceps and your shoulders. Because if you're trying to pull and the other half of your body says, oh, okay, you know, I'll just go with you there, then there's less for the muscle to pull against and it's not gonna work nearly as hard. So they only pull, they need something to pull against. All or nothing principle, okay? So you have muscle fibers, all right? So, so imagine my fingers here, these are muscle fibers, and you have what is known as a, a neuron at the end of your nervous system, that's my hand. Now when this, there's a signal that reaches that neuron, they all clamp, they all turn on 100%. And if that signal turns off, they relax. You can't sort of tense muscle fibers. They're either off or they're on. Off or on. That's, that's it. Those are your only options. Every muscle fiber on that neuron. Some neurons have like, you know, one or two little muscle fibers in delicate areas like in your eyes. And some of them have a huge amount like in your legs. Okay? But if that neuron is turned on, off, on, off. On. That's your only your muscles are binary. Think about it that way. You know, just ones and zeros. That's it. Everything that is more force or anything like that is just different numbers of those neurons turning on. Okay, so when we think of contracting a muscle, not all of your fibers are turning on. Okay, some of them are turning on, some of them are turning off, some of them are flickering, you know, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on kind of thing. This is a coordination. If you ever do an exercise that's fairly new and you're like shaking, that's literally your muscle fiber, your, your brain doesn't know which fibers to turn off and on in what sequence. So it's kind of like going, ah, I'm not quite sure, turn off, uh, turn on, turn, uh, you turn on, uh, now you. So it's constantly like, ah. But then of course, if you do it enough, it's like, <clears throat> it's very solid because the brain says, you turn off, okay, now you, now you, so it knows the coordination. That's what they call rate coding. And again, it sounds like a computer term because that's literally what it is. Your brain is programming your muscles, which is the final thing is those neurons and what muscle fibers are turning off and on and what sequence and everything 
is directly from your brain. They don't do these things on their own. Your brain has to do it. This is why every aspect of your training and your technique and everything is starting up here. If your brain is not trying to make your muscles do something with it to work, work out, none of this matters. The only thing that controls any of this is your brain. So that's why I always tell people, training is trying. Every effective exercise is your brain trying to do something. If you're not trying and attempting to do something in your workout, all you're doing is just moving and working your body. It's not actually programming it to a higher level. So training is trying, working out is just working. But training is trying. Every exercise, every rep, every set I ever do, I'm trying to do something better. Maybe a small thing like, okay, try and keep a little more weight on the inside of my hand on push-ups, squeezing in, shoulders more contracted, you know, whatever it is, just a small little thing, but I'm always trying. Because if you're not trying, you're not training. So those are your four main lessons of how your muscles operate. Let me know if you have questions down below. Until then, be fit, live free.